How's it going guys? Chris of Be Automation and in this video I'm going to run you through how I label components in my control panel. The method that I use, the tools that I use and the reasons I do it this way and understanding this is going to save you a lot of faff, a lot of time at the end of the project not having to relabel things. Ask me how I know because I've worked in three main sectors of automation so smart home, building management systems or building control, building automation and then also so the industrial sector and it's exactly the same process that I've used in all of them so I'm hoping this is going to save you a bit of time and learn from my mistakes so you don't have to go through that pain of doing it yourself so let's get into the video so first thing when labeling components guys a bit of electrical tape and then I just mark it with a sharpie each of those relays reason being things might change throughout the project throughout working through the panel Relays might get moved, they might get sort of changed. So there's no point doing a label, I don't think, a professional label at this stage until everything's finalized. So a bit of tape to start with. So next thing is I do the MCBs and you saw there with a bit with a tape measure, just working out the length. And then for these ones, rather than sticking them on the actual MCBs, I'm going to stick it on the back plate. And the reason being is MCBs, they're pretty much fixed. They don't move about within the panel, but also they're things that are higher likelihood of being changed or swapped out or burnt out, or maybe you need to increase or decrease the size. So to save anyone having to do that, I'm just sticking the labels to the back plate. And then no one has to worry about relabeling an MCB when they switch it in or out. And then on to marking the components. So as you can see, I try and make them all the same length, all the same size text. Just, yeah, I like that consistency throughout. And what I'm using is a trusty brother label printer here. And definitely recommend getting some tweezers. It just makes handling those little labels so much easier. And then Wago printer, we get on to using that a bit later. And then with the laptop socket, as you can see, I'm marking that with like a more hazardous label, pointing out that it's connected to a 10 amp MCB. So 10 amp max, not that it's likely to be overloaded, but just think it's important to, to put that there. And then moving on to labeling the PLCs. Again, all keeping the same sort of font and consistency. And then moving on to labeling the distribution blocks down here. So they end up looking something like this. This was just a starting point. I ended up adding more later on. So this, this changes all the time. Again, that's why I use electrical tape and just a Sharpie for this bit here. Again, until they're finalized and then we use a professional label like this or a Wago mark or a Wago printer. 